Welcome to Toy Hill Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler. Please like and subscribe. I put up painting demos and studio tours and please check out my intro video. In two minutes you can find out all about me, where I've been, where I'm going, what my goals are. I've been doing some creative letter, lettering paintings and last time I did an R. And I started out using the watercolor bleeding or wet and wet technique and I didn't like what was happening so I went to a more tra traditional use of acrylic paint where you really start thin but then build it up and it turned out pretty good I thought it was nice um, now I'm going to do an X and this time you know I always just I always think about what I'm going to do and then I don't usually ever do it I just go off into something this is quite an exercise to try to come up with something at the same time that I'm talking that I actually want to keep and put on my put in my portfolio I've been doing this for a long time and so far I have not thrown away any of them. So it's a really interesting exercise. It's um, not, as I said, it's very difficult, but I really enjoy doing it. So even though I have some preconceived ideas of what I'm going to do, I doubt that I'll do this. The only thing I am going to do is not worry about the level of the paint. Um, it's still going to be thin to thick because, um, as I said, acrylics dries very quickly so I can get to other layers. But uh, I'm not going to worry about using this as a water medium. I'm not a watercolors. That's uh, not my discipline. I am well versed in it, but um, I'm an oil painter. And acrylics is, can be used like an oil paint. It's only been around since the 50s, I think. And it's uh, oil paint without the, the stuff that you've uh, got to add to it, the turpentine and the oils. This way you just have the paint. And a lot of people love it for that, just water. But uh, I'm not real cra I'm not real crazy, but I like doing it for these because uh, for these YouTubes because it dries so quickly. But uh, it's um, okay. Just I much prefer oil paint. There's just nothing like oil paint to me. But then I've been doing it for a very long time, and it's what I love. You notice that in this letter, I really didn't um, keep things. The same, you know, I've got the top of this side different from the top of that side, the bottom here, and the different sides. So I was trying to make something just really, really wild, really creative in terms of some Kendall letters. That's what I call them. Um, I have that section on my website, and I will have the link to that. There are not a lot of them. I like doing this, but uh, there's other things I do a whole lot more of. But this is really quite experience. Now I know I'm going to be messing it up probably because I'm with the, definitely going to let the paint run some. So I'll go back into it. But uh, I'll try to get as much done as I can in about 15 minutes. I was real pleased to hear from a patron since I mostly sell online now, originals and prints. Someone contacted me about buying some prints for his home. And he wanted all kinds of advice. And he sent me files. Now that's really neat. Since it is online, it is a really interesting experience. Um, he has a very nice, beautiful ex space. He wanted to have a large one and then uh, two smaller ones. He wanted to know if I thought vertical would be better. Uh, was that a good space for a large one? And all kinds of questions. That doesn't usually happen. Usually people just buy my stuff and then they talk to me. Well, you know, they say a few things before sometimes. Sometimes they just buy it. And then afterwards, I usually get a lot of very nice compliments, which is always great. Oh, I kind of like the way this has turned out so far. It's doing both. It's doing, you know, some of that bleeding stuff, but also thick enough that it's not really moving around. And it really shouldn't. I mean, it should be on paper if it's a watercolor. Anyway, this is uh, going to be canvas. It is canvas. What a crazy thing to say. And canvas panel. It's a, got a type of surface that doesn't work well with that watercolor technique. And as I said, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to just let the paint do its thing, but um, more of a traditional approach to acrylics. I like some of these colors I'm getting. Some of these modulations are really nice. I tend to work in very bright colors. That's um, what we colorists do. So. I like the intermediary colors too and getting different modulations, but I do really get into very, very strong 
color systems. But always good to do different things. Especially, like I said, on these YouTubes, I really like to just let things happen. And I'm trying to talk through it. Sometimes I get a little tongue tied as I'm doing this. Sometimes the painting kind of takes over. I, it's kind of hard to talk at the same time. I'm watching this um, movie. Oh, I know. I knew what I was going to forget. I should have written it down. Dare to something. <laughs> anyway, it's about Mary Reynolds who won this um, floral contest, landscape architect, uh, not very long ago. And uh, I, I haven't gotten real far into it, but from what I read, she has figured out some things to really bring a lot of life to landscape uh, landscape architecture and not so much cultivation where you get into really beautiful wildflower systems things that are really important for our ecosystems uh, ecosystem and um, it's really really very interesting she was not at all likely to even get into this contest so it's a story of how that came about and I'm to the point now where she's trying to well, she hasn't actually, she's entered, but she hasn't won yet, and she's having to get a lot of support. And the people that she's going to are very interested in her ideas of really, really making nature part of our, our landscape and not somewhere out there. And I thought I read before I was looking at it, I might be getting her mixed up with someone else, but I thought I read that she also figured out how to bring more life to the desert area. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm going to have to watch the rest to find that out. But uh, I thought that she was able to really do something with the uh, unfortunate dry areas in the desert. I don't know. Bring life to it. Could be completely wrong about that. But anyway, so far I think it's a very, very good movie. And I wish I could remember the name. Dare to be different? I don't know. <laughs> Oh well, that's what happens when you forget to write something down. But her name is Mary Reynolds. So I got that part right. At least I can say that. You can find a movie on Mary Reynolds. <laughs> so it is a true story. Lots of times I try to remind myself to write things down before I start these, and then I forget. I'm not using a whole lot of white. I'm probably going to start doing that to really separate this out. It's only been seven minutes. Oh, the last one, I, I did work afterwards, too, because I just wasn't happy with it. It's, it. That was a weird one, in a way, because I thought it really was coming along super well. And then it dried, and they always dry differently from what you're looking at. Um, acrylics. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's not really what I wanted. So I did go back into it a lot. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I need to quit. I need to talk a lot. Might get some interesting, more interesting things going. I don't talk so much. I mean, if I do talk so much, because I don't pay such close attention. Boy, I'm really tongue-tied today. Oh, well. Last night, I woke up every hour. It's like, oh, God. I wish I slept better. I work. I don't sit around. You know, I work. I uh, should sleep better. But I woke up at 2, so I shouldn't say every hour, went to bed at 11, woke up at 2, and then every hour after that I woke up. Fortunately, I was able to get back to sleep, but it makes me so tired. Some people sleep so well. I have a sister that is, you know, as soon as she lies down, she's asleep, and she just doesn't wake up. It must be nice. Yeah, I am losing a lot of the letter. I knew I would, but I'm going to definitely go back into that because it's, it's so wet now. I don't want to fool with that right now. I'm getting some real interesting things because, again, I am talking. <laughs> I need to talk and not pay such close attention. So now I'm getting some very interesting things in terms of a real complex surface. And even though it's a creative X, I mean, it's always to me, it's a painting. And no matter what it may look like, it's something to be looked at for its own sake, the way I make it look. And I'm, it's always, as I said, ad nauseum, I just love lots of complex systems of color and texture. And I like this just to evolve. 
if that's a good word, as I do this. And then react to it, make zillions and zillions of decisions. I forget, I read one somewhere, or a friend told me one time how many decisions you're making when you're painting, and it's something else. I also read that when you um, play a musical instrument, you use every bit of your brain. I never knew that. I don't know how true that is either, but it's interesting. As I know, it is quite an effort to play an instrument. I can say that because I play the piano professionally. I do get paid for it. And it, it is quite an effort. The concentration is something else. And just like with art, really for me, you know, I, I sometimes get what I want, but not always. Sometimes it's just not as, it's just not as good as I know it can be. I need more practice and I need to consider the expression more, just like in a painting. To me, they are very similar. I used to wonder about people talking about how painting and music go hand in hand. I thought, what are you talking about? How in the world can this be anything like playing the piano? Well, then I took up the piano when I was quite young. I said, oh, <laughs> uh, now I know what you're talking about. It's, um, you know, it's all emotion. It's all feeling, or at least it is for me. Now, there are some artists that are really super into technique and into reproducing things like photographs, photorealism. And I'm not saying it's not creative, but um, you have to stick exactly to what the photograph has. For me, it's very hard to really be expressive, but maybe they feel like they are, I don't know. It's one thing you'll find out if you're around artists, we are so opinionated. And that is real, I truly believe that. I have never met an artist that wasn't very opinionated. And I certainly include myself. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> I like what's happening. It's really neat. I don't like the white specks, so I'm definitely going to get rid of those at the end. But I don't want to put too much down because then the water's going to, uh, bleh, the paint is going to start moving around too much. I might get a really small brush and if I can find one and try to bring in the, the shape back in a little stronger. That make that might ugh, that might make me help me to decide how I want to finish this. But not throwing away, that's for sure. I think it's come along pretty well. Yeah, I just want to get that back in. I don't want to lose that. And I'm just using a blue-green. I'm just really, really into blue-green. Always have been. Yeah, I don't want to lose that shape there I've got. Because I, I really did take care when I did this to try to come up with some very interesting effects in a very creative X. But I still want it to be an X. So I want to, might have to get some black paint to bring it back out because I really like the color systems I've got going. And if I don't use a dark enough color, it's um, going to sink into the background, which is all right. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a painting. It's not really a X. But I, I do want to hang on to that. I do want to still have it be an X. I like the way I'm getting rid of the black, really. Oh, well, never know. I could change the values to make it stand out, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. Hmm. I think I'm going to stop there. I really, really like it. It's got so much energy. I think it has a lot more energy and a lot more color contrast than the R I did. And for me, a lot more pleasing color systems. So, I think I will just uh, either decide to use some blue-green or black to bring out the shapes that I had and make them stand out a little more with the X and then say enough is enough. I like the way it's real just subtle right through that middle. You can't really see it that well. It's just barely there. So thank you so much for watching. The link to the final painting will be at the top of the description. There will be a link to my Etsy shop. There will be a link to my Wix website. Please check there. I'm blogging there every day.